Hey guys, I'm sitting out here on the porch as usual and I thought I'd do another story time video with you. If you like this kind of stuff, please leave a comment and tell me what you think about story time or your opinion or whatever. Today's topic I was just thinking about sharing with you is uh, fights, you know, fist fights I've had during my lifetime. I've had a few, not, you know, not a, not a whole lot, but, you know, a few, and uh, I, I know I've told y'all this before, but my father, who has passed away, by the way, uh, he had a brother, his youngest brother was a year older than me, so needless to say, they, they lived on the other uh, side of town, and uh, at where we lived at the time. And uh, we'd go to visit with them, I guess, nearly every weekend. And I'd always look forward to go seeing my, I know it sounds strange, my grandfather and grandmother on my dad's side and uh, and seeing my uncle that was a year older than me. And uh, I don't know, he figured out, you know, he figured out that he could beat me up. So I knew just about every time that we went over there, he would aggravate me or something, and we'd finally get into a fight. And, you know, unless somebody broke it up, I would lose. I would lose. You know, and I, I was just a little kid, and uh, he kind of had an advantage over me. And it, speaking of, uh, you know, siblings, Everybody, I think my dad had seven, there were seven, six, six brothers, one sister, I try, and uh, I'm trying to remember all their names, they, they've all but one passed, so uh, anyway, he got picked on a lot, so he was kind of used to getting, I, I just want to say shoved around, you know, kind of, he was used to that, but me, I was the only I was the only child at the time before my brother and sister came along. And, uh, you know, it was, uh, you know, I, I was just used to being, uh, you know, trying to be a nice guy, you know, trying to, you know, get along. Get along, little doggy. Anyway, I was used to, sorry, uh, I was used to just trying to get along with everybody. So... I, getting back to the point, I knew every time that I'd go over there, there was going to be a fight, maybe two or three. Who knows? So, and most of the time, you know, as I said, unless somebody broke it up, I got beat up. So, uh, going on down to the end of this story on this part, uh, we were fixing to move to another town. And uh, my last night there, of course, we were visiting, you know, saying goodbye and all this stuff. You know, we... We's moving. Uh, my dad, my dad got a better job someplace else. Anyway, we we moved several times during my lifetime, and uh, anyway, my last night there, uh, you know, saying goodbye and all this stuff, you know, and, you know how you do when you're saying goodbye to your relatives and stuff, you know, and this that and other. Well, my uncle picked a fight with me, and for some reason, I don't I don't know what it is. Uh, I, I got, I got the, I'll just call it ump or whatever in me, and I beat him up. I beat him up. He, he kept hitting me thinking I was going to quit, but I didn't. I kept on till he quit, and my grandfather and grandmother, my grandfather especially, he, he was, he always liked to watch wrestling on TV and stuff, you know, and he'd, he'd really get into it, you know, shaking his fist, you know, get him, get him on the, on the TV, watching him on TV, and, you know, he was cheering me on, because I guess he got, you know, tired of watching me get beat up every time I come over there, and uh, this is the same uncle, by the way, that, let me finish the story. Anyway, I wound up beating my uncle up and he quit and he was crying and and I was this sounds strange but I was crying too like like I said I was just a little kid and uh 
I was probably six, seven maybe. I don't think I was seven, but anyway, I was crying too, but it wasn't because I was hurt or anything. It was was because I was so mad. And I, I, for the life of me, I can't remember what he done to make me so mad, but you know, I kind of pat myself on the back because I, it inspired something in me to know that I was capable of doing something, which led to other things during life. But anyway, uh, this is the same uncle I told you that he'd always get me in trouble somehow. He Remember I told you the story about uh, he, he got a mounds bar? You know, there's two... Uh, little chocolate mounds bars in one package and I asked my dad could I have one of them and he said no so my uncle said <laughs> he said just just take one bite I won't say nothing just take one bite I won't say nothing I ain't gonna tell your dad you know my brother I'm not gonna tell him well uh he did as soon as I took one bite before I could even get it swallowed or chewed up he was running to go tell my dad which my dad uh, later that evening when we got home, you know, he tore my rear end up pretty good. And, you know, he told me, he said, if I tell you not to do something, don't do it. So that, that stuck in my mind. I think we need a little more of that around here nowadays with some of these children. You know, they don't listen or nothing. But anyway, I'm getting off topic. Okay, we moved to another, as I said, we were moving. We moved to another town. And, uh, and lived there. Well, you know, I, the school year had already started, and and I, I was the new kid. I was the new kid in town. Uh, new kid on the block, new kid in the classroom. Well, uh, it just so happens, as my luck would have it, uh, one of the boys in my particular class, his father was the principal of the school. And boy, he thought he was a tush hog. I tell you what, he did. And I, I didn't know anybody. The teacher assigned me a desk to sit at. And, uh, you know, I made a couple of friends there, you know, the first day, you know, uh, by people sitting around me. But, you know, not much. And uh, anyway, he started picking a fight with me, wanted to fight me after school. So, uh, you know, I said, okay, you know, let's we'll, we'll, we'll do this. So uh, I don't think he was expecting that. I'm not really sure what his deal was. As I said, his father was the principal, so you know he he could do no wrong. So uh, I don't know how he done this or whatever, but he got another boy to fight me because he didn't want to fight me because I was a new kid and he didn't really know what I was capable of, which was nothing. But uh, anyway, I wound up fighting this new kid and I beat him up. And this was all because I knew if I was persistent, and persevered, you know, I would win. Yeah, you know, it, it hurts getting hit, but I was hurting him too. And the funny thing is, after we got up from scuffling and beating each other up, you know, we shook hands and we, we were friends for years. But how that, how that boy that was, you know, the kingpin of the whole kit and caboodle, you know, because his dad was the principal, you know, how he got him to fight me, and I didn't even know the guy. I didn't know any of them, but uh, anyway, I just thought it was kind of ironic, you know, that he was a big tush hog, but when it come down to it, he's just a big old baby. Uh, anyway, I got in uh, middle school. Yeah, I got in middle school, and uh, I got in a fight there with somebody I didn't know, and uh, we were sitting in gym class, uh, P.E., class. I, we called it gym class back then. I don't know what you call it nowadays, but anyway, we were uh, sitting there and the, the PE teacher was telling us he was he was a man and, you know, they had a women's girls PE teacher. She was a woman and the men's, the boys had a man teacher. Well, he had us sitting in, the, you know, in the gymnasium, sitting in the floor and he was telling us something. But I don't remember what it was. But this boy kept scooting next to me, and I never could figure him out. I mean, he was older than me, and I couldn't figure out what his deal was, like a year or two older than me. Maybe I just had one of those looks on my face. I'm not sure, but 
anyway, uh, he kept picking at me. You know, I'd scoot over and move, and he'd come over and again right next to me, just aggravating me to death and wanting to fight. And so, you know, the PE teacher said, "Okay, the, you know, let's go down here to to the locker room or something." And we all run down there, and he started fighting me, and I beat him up. You know, and it, and he finally come up to me and said, I'm sorry. And I said, well, I didn't know what your deal was, buddy. You know, but I said, it's all good. You know, we're all good. We didn't want to get caught by the PE teacher. We'd have got a good paddling. So anyway, it's just, I just want to tell you all that because it, some of this stuff, I don't know why I thought of it today, but uh, I guess just to show you that if you persevere, and try try your best sometimes your your enemies sometimes become some of your best friends and that's what's happened to me now the guy in the PE class I don't know his name I, I don't recall ever seeing him again but there's been a couple of times well even in adult life you know I've thought of well I've thought about doing some things I probably shouldn't but that was because uh well, I'm not going to get into that. That's not really important. But the anyway, I just thought I'd tell you that, that sometimes the, the thing is when we got in fights in school or whatever, there wasn't any thought at all of bringing a gun or a knife or anything like that. I mean, kids just work things out themselves. And, you know, I just thought it was, I mean, that's just the way things was. You know, you'd get in a fight most of the time, and, and a little while later, you know, you're friends. And sometimes, as I said, sometimes they're your best friends or real good friends, I'll say. Anyway, I just thought I'd share this with you. If you've been in any skirmishes with some of your family members or or maybe school school kids, you know, school kids seem to get into it more. You know, they're, I guess there's kind of like a pecking order. I never did want to be top dog or anything like that. I just wanted to just... As I said, get along, little doggy. So, and still to this day, you know, I, I try to try to get along with everybody best I can.